Chrysler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. The stars are out, but it'll probably still feel like midday because the heat is unrelenting for this game between Louisiana Monroe Warhawks and the Texas Longhorns. Well, college football fans, it's time to begin another great season. And here come the Longhorns. The Warhawks are going to have a rough time on the field in this game. I want to hear what Kirk Herbstreit thinks. Texas is lucky to have such a force at defensive end. Offense is game plan around him, and I wouldn't expect to see many runs to his side. The rest of the defense is just as good, and they'll dominate in this game. I agree with you on this one. There's no way Texas loses this game. Put some horns. All right, you heard it from Lee Corso himself. We'll see how that pick pans out. In the meantime, let's go down to the coin toss. off Shipley takes it at the 16 there's an injured player on the field oh man he's looking pretty dazed and confused after that hit and you know what all the other guy got was a little pain on his helmet it'll be a fun one to watch Brad this defensive end does a great job of getting to the quarterback and there aren't many teams that have shut him down throughout his career now he won't have an easy day today though Kirk this right tackle is a very good pass blocker and he took it out. Back to pass. He steps up. He throws it. That's incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the. Looks to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's going right. And it's intercepted. Shipley looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Some coaches want to say mind over matter. But if you're hurt, you're hurt. Simple as that. Nothing. Up for the shotgun set. Hands it to the back. Beasley with the tackle at the 43. They had a moderate amount of yards to gain, and they'll end up a foot or two shy. Yeah, the defense closed up that hole just in time. McCoy will hand it off. Breaks one. Tackle at the 18 yard line. And the reverse worked nicely there. Now, this is really a matter of catching the defense off guard. Sometimes you need to throw in a play like this just to change things up a bit. Good timing there. McCoy drops back to pass. Throwing right. Incomplete. What? Excellent play on defense. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on the second he touched it. Yep. And out came the football. Setting up play action. Number 12. Guns it over the middle. William tackles him at the 47 yard line. And the defense is on it. What happened there, Coach? Let me tell you what. The wideout wasn't carrying the ball like he should. And the defender... McCoy drops back to pass. Let's it go. And got him! Stan with a takedown at the 21. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Comes away with two yards on the carry. That'll bring up second down. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Here, drops back on first down. Moves up in the pocket. Let's it fly. Finds his receiver. And he hits him hard at the 39-yard line. Well, that's the way to do it. Here's the option. Jones tackles him at the 48. This is one of those uh-oh plays for the defense. Not only do you not stop him on third down, you give up big gainer on the ground. Uh -oh. The play we call. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Texas 3, 
Louisiana Monroe, nothing. He drops back, stepping up. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. up in the pocket. Let's it fly. Oh, great hit. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense. He really... Drops back on first down. He's looking. Throws down the middle. Beasley brings him down at the 15. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting. He gets it up. No good. He hooked it left. Well, he tried for three, but they came up empty-handed. Rolls right. McCoy lets it fly. Price with a takedown at the 40-yard line. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff throws the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice... McCoy drops to throw, surveys the field. His receiver has it. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did it. He drops back. He steps up, looks. Long ball, right side. And he came down with it. What a catch. They hooked up for the long touchdown there, guys. What a great call. The quarterback knew he had the matchup that he wanted, and he took advantage of it. Now, how about that receiver? He did a great catch. Field. Back to pass. Throws it out there. And he's got him on the run. Beasley with the tackle at the 41. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. Feeds it to the back. He jukes him. There he goes. He's tackled at the 36. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. Number 12 slings it, has it to the senior. And they push him out at the 18-yard line. And, fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of doing The kick is up. And the field goal is good. And this one's away. You can't blame the refs that time. That'll be the kicker's fault 100% of the time. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. The ball is marked. They'll be set up with good field. McCoy lines up in the shotgun. McCoy set to go to the air. It's complete. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. Collin picks him up six yards with a catch. This is a hard play to continue if you're a defensive player. If you give him too much of a cushion, you're going to... Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Catches it. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. It's up. And it's right down the middle. He hit that one from way out there. Oh, man, that was a beautiful kick. We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score at halftime is Texas 13, Louisiana Monroe 3. Looking to pass. Look. Missed tackle. Sack for a loss at the 18. That was just good pass rush by the defensive end. Well, the offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. McCoy drops back to pass. 
He's looking. He guns it left side. Complete. Collins steps out at the 25-yard line. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get open between the McCoy on first down. Catches it. He has some room. The five. Touchdown, Longhorn. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defender. Drops back to pass. Looking. Across the middle, finds his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 48. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that... Drops back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. The ball came free. And they fall on the loose ball. Good hustle there by the D lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's off in an open... McCoy drops back. He's under some heat. Ford makes the sack. And guys, it can't feel good to be sacked by that guy. I saw him with a box of pizza last night. Then when he came off the bus this morning, he had more. Play fake. He fires. Thomas picks it off. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. Something happened there, and boy, did he ever. McCoy hands it off straight ahead. They'll bring him down at the 12-yard line. That run gives him the first down. You know, in the media conference a couple of days ago, the coach talked about how important it was for them to establish the running game. Let's... Touchdown, Longhorn. An impressive run as he finds the end zone. Yeah, he's got skills. I wouldn't want to be a defender in the open field with him coming at you. Oh, come on, Scooter, you take him down. Pressure coming. He gets rid of this one. He gets it off. Gipley takes it to 25. Gipley, he may have been seriously injured on that play. He seems to be favoring his arm. Hopefully it's nothing serious. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Texas 27, Louisiana Monroe 3. Johnson lines up as a single back. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offside. On the defense. So they'll move him back after the penalty. McCoy set to go to the air. He delivers. It's complete. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Texas. And Coach, how about that touchdown? With that last touchdown throw, this quarterback now has managed to find the end zone. And this one's all wrapped up. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Texas played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Texas 34, Louisiana Monroe 3. A special thanks goes out to everyone at EA Sports. It's been a pleasure bringing you this game.